Hi, this is Wayne Strand here, welcoming you to AlgebraMath.net, where we're studying introductory algebra, specifically the first section, numbers and algebra. This presentation, along with the material needed to complete this section in your study of algebra, can be found at AlgebraMath.net. In this section, we're going to discover how objects in the real world are associated with mathematical concepts, what constants are, the operation in real-world operations and how they are embedded in mathematics, the concept of equality, the mathematical alphabet, translating problems into mathematical statements, and the use of grouping symbols. So now let's go through one by one. How objects in the real world are associated with mathematical concepts. As a child, we learn how to associate physical objects with words. For instance, we have a ball here, and it meant one ball. Two of those objects in English became two balls. Three of them became three balls, and so on. Later, we associated words with numbers, and then we wrote, one ball is represented by the number one. Two is represented by two, the number two. 3 is represented by the number 3, and so on. Then we learn how to count things using the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth. So this little diagram shows you 1 ball plus 2 balls gives you 3 balls. Simple, right? The numbers used to count things, 1, 2, 3, and so forth, are called counting or natural numbers. We include the number 0. When we include the number 0, we call them whole numbers. Here's a little, little chart that shows the word in English as well as the symbol in mathematics. So the word spelled one is the number one in math. The word two is the number two in math, and so forth. Words like add, subtract, multiply, and divide describe some operation between numbers and or objects. So for addition, we have a plus symbol, subtraction, a minus symbol, multiply, a dot, you used to use an X, now we use dots, and the divide symbol. Equality is represented by an equal sign. So for example, 2 plus 9 equals 11. Equals is the symbol used for equality. The mathematical alphabet. The mathematical alphabet consists of the letters A, B, C, blah, 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 all the way up to X, Y, Z. And note that if this book were written in some other language, then the alphabet of that language would be the mathematical alphabet. When a letter can be represented by a number, we call that letter a variable. Example, if the letter P represents a number, then the sum of P plus 5 is written P plus 5. If the letter P represents a number, then the sum of P plus 5, written as P plus 5, is replaced by say the number 3, then p plus 5 is equal to 3 plus 5. The process of replacing a variable by a number is called substitution. Here we have the translating word problems, <coughs> excuse me, the various symbols and the related words. This you can find inside the book. All right, just download section 1.1 uh, and you'll see the table as well as many examples and charts. Finally, we have the grouping symbols. Parentheses, brackets, and curly parentheses are all grouping symbols. This marks the end of section 1.1. This presentation, along with the material needed to complete this section in your study of algebra, can be found at algebramath.net, section 1.1. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.